Here we go, boys. Come on, let's take it home. Oh, eight, five, shoot. Come on, pass it, pass it. Hope. Oh, hey there, you little chicken nuggets. And welcome to Grow TV. Come on! Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what games are on today. Ah, nothing. What to do? What to do? I don't have any board games. Maybe I could invent a game. That's it. I'll invent a game. Here we go. Thinking Cap is on. <laughs> All right, let's think. A game. A game. How many people should play? Let's think. Four teams. No, two. Can't crowd the area too much. Now let's make them wear funny outfits that make them look big and strong. But tight pants that make them look fast and cool. But we might want to strap a helmet on them so they don't hurt their eyeballs. And instead of on a wood floor like basketball, we can do it on grass. But fake grass so it's pretty year round. Instead of a round ball like every other sport, I'm gonna take a ball and make it kind of like have pointy ends. Kind of like an oval. Then we can throw it around and carry it with our hands. And just to be funny, I will call this game football. Football, that's it. This is great. This will be so much fun. Who knows, it might even take off. Become really popular. Yes, let's go play football. Did someone say football? I did. Cool, I love football. <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> I don't want to sound condensing. It's condescending. I'm sure it is. <laughs> but you couldn't love football because you don't know what it is. Um, I'm pretty sure I know. And everyone else on the face of the planet. What are you talking about? I just invented it. Well, sorry to tell you, but somebody invented it first. He caught him napping, and now it's nothing but open field ahead. You gotta be kidding me! Football's real! Football exists! You gotta be kidding me! Okay, Carl, it's an honest mistake. I don't know, Cassie. This feeling is awful. Thinking you know something and BAM! It all changes. I get it, Carl. You can probably understand how Peter, James, and John felt. Really? When? Well, do you remember the story of Transfiguration? It sounds familiar. Well, Jesus was walking up a mountain with Peter, James, and John. Why? Because Jesus had a plan. Why? Because Jesus needed to do something. Why? I don't know, but when they got up there, something really crazy happened. Was there a circus? A zoo? A frozen yogurt restaurant? None of those. You see, when Jesus got up there, his clothes became this glimmering bright color. The color of his clothes change? That's cool, but not crazy. That's not it. Out of nowhere, Elijah and Moses showed up. What do you mean, Elijah and Moses? The Elijah and Moses? That's not possible. Well, it happened. They showed up and they started talking and Peter, James, and John couldn't believe their eyes. I bet! Golly, I wouldn't be able to stop talking! Well, that's what Peter did. He started talking, and then in the sky, there was this huge cloud that covered it. Oh, well, great. Just when it starts getting good, it starts to rain. Well, you'd think that, but no. Suddenly, a loud, booming voice came from the cloud. Hold up. I was fine with all the clothes changing, Elijah and Moses, and then the cloud coming down, and then it's starting to rain. But it didn't rain. And a voice came out of it. A talking cloud? You're kidding me. What? That can't be real. Well, it is. And the best part of the story is that voice was God's. In Incredible. What did God say? That Jesus was truly the Son of God, and we should listen to him. Wow! I bet that opened their eyes. What do you mean? Well, I can imagine that even though they were devoted to Jesus, they probably didn't know who he really was. You're right. A lot of people just thought Jesus was a super gifted teacher or prophet. Yeah, but now this happens, there's no question whatsoever. Jesus is the Son of God! Yep. Even though it was the truth all along, they didn't really know until that moment. Kind of like your whole football invention, huh? Oh, so you admit I invented it. Well, you thought you did anyway. Even though football was a thing long before you made it up, you didn't believe me until I showed you on my phone. After that, there was no more doubts that football was real, right? <sighs> yep. I guess I need to see it myself to believe it. That's the cool thing about God. Once we know the truth, it's so much easier to follow Jesus. The truth, huh? How do we know how to find the truth? Well, sometimes my parents, and then my friends, I do watch the news sometimes. Also do know a pretty smart raccoon. Well, those are all good. Well, maybe not the raccoon. I'm thankful for people in my life that help me know what to do. But more than anyone in the world, Jesus shows me the truth. Cassie, you want truth? <laughs> yes. You did it!
big idea is Jesus shows me the truth. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Jesus shows me the truth. Yes! Yeah! Jesus shows me the truth, shows her the truth. Shows you the truth and he shows me the truth. Man, leave in the middle, in the Truth, truth, truth. Oh, truth. Well, sorry your football thing didn't work out like you hoped, Carl. No worries. I knew it was too good of an idea. Yeah, I'm sure you'll come up with something better. Wait a minute! I got it! You take a fast car kind of thing, but you take the wheels off, you put that car on water, you can drive this car on water, then you take some sort of rod or stick, and you put some, like, clear string in it, maybe attach something sharp on the end, like a hook. Then you take some other little fish, put the little fish on that, throw that in the water, and you do this kind of thing. And then you can catch something like a bigger fish. Yeah, that's called fishing. Come on! See you next week, kids. Yeah. Are you sure? Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.